Hi everyone. I hope you've all looked at the feedback I had for your uh, review of technology tools assignment. Uh, some of you might have seen the grade and panicked. So this is a video to say, don't panic. The grade that I have given at this point is just consider it a grade for your first draft. My feedback to you is to help you improve the product that you have and to frame it in a way that would be most useful for you for your e-portfolio and reflective of you as a master student in adult education. So to bring that together is where I'm hoping to take you with this assignment. Now, I have tried to provide detailed feedback for all of you so that you can address specific issues and um, work on making those changes. Some of the common areas, well, actually, there's just one area, which is the adult education context. Now, at the beginning of this course, we looked at a number of adult learning theories. So that forms your adult education context. Now, when we look at this assignment and you talk about advantages and disadvantages of a technology tool, put it in the context of adult education. For example, some um, uh, disadvantages was that a tool was not um, portable across browsers. So how is that a problem for adult learners? Well, some adult learners are not very proficient in technology. And having this uh, tool that is not portable across browsers becomes an added um, stressor and frustration for adult learners. So you see the little tweak that I am giving to it. You're, you've identified the disadvantage. All I'm doing is, doing is contextualizing it in adult learning terms. Um, another one is uh, sometimes uh, many of you mentioned that uh, the tools have uh, a fees associated with it, which is a challenge for adults who have a number of other financial commitments. I mean, think of your own lives. You've got kids, you've got work, you've got mortgage payments, and an additional charge for a technology tool is definitely something that takes on a different dimension for adult learners. Now, um, what about advantages? Some of you mentioned the ease of use, drag and drop. Well, that's a great thing, right? I mean, some a technology that's easy to use is more relevant for adult learners who are already apprehensive about technology. Some of you had correctly identified that for adult learners, um, bigger text and easy maneuvering is important given you know physiological challenges and all. So you already have it, just add a phrase or two in to link it back to the adult learners that you've read about. And that's all I'm expecting from it. On the whole, you all did a great job. I was just completely impressed by the range of tools that you all reviewed and introduced to each other. There are a few I had never heard of, and I am quite excited to try out. I have to say live binders seemed very interesting to me till I looked at it and looked at the limitations for the free package, right? And so things like that are a little challenging and so definitely a disadvantage. Um, so <clears throat> just tweak what you have. I'm not asking for major changes. Use what you have, make a few changes to it and resubmit it and I, and I will regrade it. Okay. Um, the other thing is for some of you, your grammar and spelling weren't at their best. So just re go through it, revise it, make edits. I would have taken off points, I think, in the last section or something. So that's something that you can improve as well. Um, I also added comments saying that if you've submitted a paper, remember to use links to the tool, remember to include maybe some screenshots, things like that, enhance a paper. And um, if you don't know how to do it, you want suggestions, you've seen the, uh, the, the knowledge that is available in this class itself and the proficiency that different people in this class bring to each other. 
ask each other for help and um, your discussions and your um, interactions with each other need not be limited to only the discussions about the text or what has been said in the syllabus. Tap into the knowledge that you each have and access it and use it and help each other. And that's when we form a real social learning community. So take away from this message is don't panic. This was just the first draft of it and I will recreate it. You can ask my previous students. Um, I am generally generous in grading. So your final grades will be very different. All I do expect is that you take the feedback seriously and you incorporate my feedback and work on it. That to me is important, that you make changes and that I see development in your work. Turning in the same paper a second time would not cut it. So I hope to see more submissions from you. And uh, like I mentioned, there's a drop box for that now. So just put it in there whenever you're done with it and I will grade it uh, at the end of the semester. If you are really concerned and you would like me to take another look at your product, fine, email it to me and let me know and I will take another look at it. It will not be very detailed, but at least I can tell you if you're in the right direction or if, if, if there's something that concerns me. Okay, so, um, and we will go ahead with our online discussions this module.